Hello, I'm Gautam Menon, Professor at Ashoka University. And I want to tell you a little bit about the functioning of the Anti-Ragging Committee, or the ARC as it is known, at Ashoka University. The work of the ARC is prescribed by a set of rules that have been laid down by the government of India under the curbing the menace of ragging in higher education institutions. So the work of this committee and what it does is prescribed by the government. The perception of ragging, the idea that you might have, is that ragging is just fun and games. It makes you stronger. It leads to la longer lasting friendships. It breaks the ice between junior and senior. And even that ragging is not is just a sort of physical activity when you get a, ju a junior to do something that they might not want to do. But social media ragging is not really ragging. It should not be counted as such. And that only freshers are ragged. So the intent of this presentation is to tell you that Ragging actually covers a larger scheme than just these descriptions. So what is ragging? At the simplest level, ragging is teasing, treating, or handling with rudeness another student. And it's not so much the intent that you might have, that someone who's ragging you might have, but the impact that it has on you. Causing annoyance, hardship, physical or physiological harm, or psychological harm, or the apprehension thereof in another student could also count as ragging. Asking a student, and this is important, to do anything that shames or embarrasses them, certainly counter ragging. Disrupting the regular academic activity of a student would be ragging. Exploiting a student in order to complete an academic task that is assigned would also count as ragging. Any act of financial extortion, give me money for this, would also be part of this. Physical abuse of any variant in a demonstration of power of one over the other would be ragging. Any act of abuse by spoken word, email, post, public insults, all of these which induce, which have the effect of discomfort or shaming of a student, also count as ragging. More broadly, any act that affects the mental health and self confidence of another student would be ragging. And any act of physical or mental abuse, bullying, even exclusion from a group which is targeted at a student, would come, come under this very large ambit of ragging. The scope of this is all, as the UGC prescribes it, is all higher education institutions, as well as elements of such institutions, the constituent unions, the departments, as well as the premises. So it's not just confined to a hostel, it could be anywhere on campus, it could be anywhere that you might be in your position as an Ashoka student. For example, if you're on a field trip in your rag, that would also count as ragging, within this very broad ambit of how we think about ragging. How do you file a complaint about ragging? The first thing that you should do is, first of all, organize the material. If there is a social media post, take a screenshot of that. If there's an email, make a copy of that. Get a friend to write up any situation which they have witnessed. Send a mail containing these to the email address arc at ashoka.udu.in. Within that email, describe all of the details of that particular instance in as much depth as you can, accompanied by all of the evidence that you can connect. If you may not be sure, there are multiple disciplinary committees that exist in Ashoka. There's also the CASH, there's also the CADI, and there is, of course, the ARC. If you're unsure about which one to direct your complaint to, which, which committee should be handling it, you can mail all of them or even one of them, asking for advice as to which committee they should be targeted to. Based on what your complaint is, based on its analysis of the case, the evidence it collects, the committee will investigate and arrive at a verdict, and the whole process is confidential. What are the penalties that the ARC can impose? Well, one penalty might just be suspension from attending classes and a reduction in academic privileges. It could be debarring the, you from representing the institution in any regional, national, or international meeting, tournament, youth, youth festival, etc. But it could also be cancellation of admission, rustication from the institution for a prescribed period of time, and finally, expulsion from the institution and debarring from admission to any other institution for a specified period, as laid down by the UGC. The members of the, of the ARC are several. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Malabika Sarkar, is the chair of the, of the ARC. This has faculty representation. I'm a faculty representative on the ARC. It has university administration representation. Ms. Rashmi Singh is a member of the ARC. In addition, there will be two students. One student who will be elected from your batch, a fresher student, will be a member of the ARC. And a student from the senior batch, also to be elected, will be a member of the ARC. In addition to this, there will be two external members from outside Ashoka. And one is a member of the civil administration, 
a Naib Tasildar of Rai in this particular case, and a member of the police. The SHO of the Rai police station will also be a member. And all of this is laid down by the UGC guidelines. Who should you contact? First of all, in all of these cases, the first point of contact should be the ARC. The email, as I said before, is arc at ashoka.edu.in. For further information about ARC procedures more generally, the way the, the UGC and the government defines them, can be obtained in the Government of India anti ragging portal and at the National anti ragging Crisis Helpline, both of which details are provided below. Some of you may have questions about these, and we will address these questions in the face-to-face -face discussion that we will have and, and when with all of the freshmen batch in about a month from now. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.